Hey guys, this episode we're going to be talking about how to build a GitHub application and how to authenticate with their API and uh, interact with the API um, through GitHub apps. Now, if you've used OAuth to get access tokens for users, that's one thing. It's really easy to do that, but GitHub apps is kind of a more complex integration with GitHub that allows you to do a lot of other things and interact with their API as the application itself, not as a specific user. So this is really nice and gives us some more flexibility. And I implemented this actually recently for the Rails Hackathon so that when a team is created, we can create a uh, GitHub repo and invite their team for them and they can push their code up there um, during the hackathon. So let's go under settings. And on the left sidebar here, you'll see developer settings. Um, there's OAuth apps, which are your traditional login with GitHub type of thing. And then you can get an access token to do things as that user. GitHub apps um, is a separate section there and that is where you can define a GitHub app. And it can do the OAuth type of integration as well, but it can act on its own behalf, which is kind of the big um, value here. And um, that way you don't have to in directly impersonate a user when you're interacting with the API. So under um, this, we'll go create a new GitHub app and give it a name. We could say like Rails Hackathon Dev, um, and railshackathon.com. You can also, uh, like I mentioned, still authorize as a user. So this would be like your um, OmniAuth callback URL for GitHub. Um, you can turn on whether or not your authorization tokens expire and if it gives you a refresh token, that's usually a good thing, which is why it's here on by default.